In this episode, we're gonna talk just about photography bags. So hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. My name is Manny and in this episode we're going to talk just about all the photography bags and equipment bags that we have and use. Also, we don't going to talk about all the bags and the names. We've listed all for you in the description down below so you guys can find all the stuff and the products in the links down below. Yeah, also if you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below or again, hit me up on Facebook at Retard Pro. Okay, so in the first bag here, we have that right away on the table already. So this is bag number one and all bags will be listed again from one to 10 in the description down below. Okay, so this is bag number one. Again, this is just there to the purpose here for this bag is just to carry our uh, backdrop stand again with a few rods in the center and the big stands on the side as well has a few clamps here to pack everything really nicely away as you guys can see with another zip there in the side you can zip everything close it and yeah got a good bag to carry just the background stand then bag number two as well comes standard from the allen chrome set as well this is a standard allen chrome bag again just purpose here is to carry small stands and the big stands as well in here from Allen Crumb. So again, as you guys can see, the medium Allen Crumb stands. Sometimes we put in some small soft boxes here if there's space, otherwise it's just there to carry bags. So this is bag number two. So bag number three again over here, also just main purpose to carry again, just lights. Sometimes we put umbrellas in here and bigger soft boxes if they are packed nicely with speed rings, cables, everything that is just loose flying around. So we carry this and we have about two of these bags, pretty handy again with a zip function here, a lot of space, a lot of different compartments in there. And as well at the top, we've got another function here with a zip to take stuff quicker out. So again, two of that, bag number three. Then also bag number four over here, which is just a small pouch actually. We carry in here our little strip soft boxes. So again, two strip soft boxes in this bag. As well, we have four, so we've got another one of this bag. As well, a little um, Velcro system here at the top to also put our equipment in there with a little grip over here, ready to go. Then also bag number five, again, standard from Allen Chrome as well to carry our strobes over here. As you guys can see, the strobe system goes in here, just the two lights as well. Also some speed rings and some soft boxes again. Also more of that, you guys can find more about that also in our strobe video about the strobes if you wanna know about that. But this is bag number five again, super handy. And protects again our strobes really nicely, nice to carry as well. Then our plastic box number six as well. Over here just purpose is to carry again some reflectors, the grits, the snoot, a few cables, and again stuff that flies around. And the only cushion in here is just the old towel. So this is just the throw around box. Then bag number seven here, just the old hammer bag again. Just main purpose for all the stuff that is still flying around like filters and rain cover, etc. Stuff like that, that we don't use every day is in this box. So this doesn't go with on every shoot, just as an extra. Then bag number eight over here, a small Tamarack bag. This main purpose of this bag is just to hold all our sound equipment here. As you guys can see with the zoom stuff, road mics, also the extra road mic that we're currently using. And again, the lavalier mics all is part in this bag. So bag number eight. Then bag number nine, a low pro bag as well here. Pretty good bag just to keep all our bodies and lenses in place and all other stuff. Not all is in here since we're using some of the stuff to shoot, but you guys kind of get the point. Nice bag with a lot of compartments to store your stuff very safely. Okay, also unzip this and as well the nice feature on this is as well you have another place here just to put again a laptop or whatever you want to put in here. Also a few more grips, yeah. And also it comes with an extra internal rain cover here that goes over it. Best bag to have your photography gear in. Then bag number 10, which is actually a Pelican case. We have this as a big one. So we carry in here all our extra strobes. So our BX500R strobes. All four of these strobes go in here. Some rods again from the soft boxes, also the cables, again, speed rings and some clamps. And you guys can see as we pack on top, again, another soft box or octa box. Also in here, a good cushion. So this is the best bag that we have for going on shoots. It's also water and dust proof. Also again, bag or case number 10, have a look in the description down below. I can just recommend this. 
Yeah, okay, so that's basically all for this episode as well, guys. If you want to see some more about Photoshop tutorials, check right here on the left-hand side. You guys can see some more Photoshop tutorials that we have on this channel. On your right-hand side, again, some more videos just about the gear that we use and all the gear that we have. Okay, and at the top, you guys can subscribe to this channel. Have a look at the bottom. You guys can also leave some comments there and as well, check out our website at retailpro.com. Then as well, if you have any questions, again, hit me up on Facebook. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this little episode and as well, share it with your buddies that are new to this. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.